Hello, welcome to Robot Operating System for Beginners. In this tutorial, we will be discussed about introduction and basic options of Gajibo Simulator. The commands are provided in the description. One can use it for practice. Let's get started. Open one terminal and you can paste it here. We are sourcing our ROS. That's it. Okay. We are setting up our ROS in the terminal. And second step, we have to update, right? We have to get the update of your ROS. For that, I'm using the second command. This one I'm using. I'm Uh, let it be update from the internet new packages will be updated if you have less internet speed don't update don't run this one it's not it's not necessary right it's not mandatory and this one is we are installing the turtle bot 3 after updating your packages i am installing the turtle bot 3 okay control shift v enter Fine. So, there is, so this is updated and we are installed that. Okay. So in this code, we are sourcing the ROS. In this code, we are updating, we are getting updates. And after the updates, I am installing TurtleBot3 on Kinetic Distro. Okay. So on this distro. So now we are ready with our TurtleBot3 simulators. So, so all required files are there in our directory. So what we need to do, we have to export the TurtleBot3 model. Okay. So that model name is called Budger. So that model I am exporting. Okay. So I hope that these steps are very clear. I am repeating again. First, I am sourcing my ROS. So I am sourcing the terminal where my ROS files are there. That's it. And next one, if any updates are there, this is not necessary. Right. If any updates are there, you can use, you can get the updates from internet. And then again, you can install your TurtleBot3 based on your updates okay so these two are not necessary but the thing is we have to export the turtle bot 3 model so that model we can we are selecting as budget okay so this after executing this command okay right fine you should not throw any error so here it is executed my budget model is exported right it is exported but it is visible in simulator i have to call the simulator also Fine. First, I just exported my model. It should not throw any error. Fine. So after that, this command, the last command, I'm copying and pasting here. Fine. It's okay. Some red marks are there. Fine, fine, fine. No problem if, if it is come red mark, no problem. You just press control C and again execute the same command. Okay. So this command is we are we are asking the ROS to launch the TurtleBot 3 Gazebo simulator. In that Gazebo simulator, I am calling our robot. Our robot name is TurtleBot 3. Okay. Our robot name is TurtleBot 3. What is the robot name in Turtle Sim? The last simulator we are calling that as a Turtle 1. Right. So all topics we are calling as turtle one slash pose, turtle one slash sensor color, right? Turtle one slash command velocity, right? Similarly, here our robot name is turtle bot three. In that turtle bot three, Burger is a model name. We are launching that one in empty environment. Okay. We are launching that file in empty world. So which means we are, we don't have any boundaries. We don't have any restrictions, right? So if you Check your simulator. In this simulator, your robot, there is no boundaries, right? We are opened our model. So this is a model. This is a budget model ha having like two wheels. Okay. So this is also going in a two directional plane. It can able to go in X direction and it can able to rotate about the Y direction. That's it. Okay. It cannot take directly like this. Okay. There is no moment in linear moment in Y direction. There is no linear moment in Z direction. Only linear movement is possible in X direction, just like our turtle sim. Okay. So now here we have a different options. This is for zoom in and zoom out. Here we can select the object and here we can pan the, we can pan the object. For example, if you select this one, we can also move it in this direction. 
okay we can move the robot in this direction so as it is this, this one is not possible it will again bounce back to the plane and we can move we can move in this direction right that's it we can change the views so this is the top view and we can zoom out so we can use the mouse scroll so to zoom in and zoom out so these are the different views top view right back view side view front view bottom view left side view okay left side view we can place the cursor so that it will give the names front view so we can check the front view this is the front view so this is the left side view this is right side view of your robot and this is back side and this is the bottom side and we'll go to the we'll switch over to the top side and this is the isometric view okay so that's all we have spotlight and all and we can insert any objects just like cylinder and we can insert sphere we can also insert all these objects and we can place anywhere in the global world fine and at the same time to decrease the size here we have a option called scale we can scale up and scale down like simply in this direction if you want to decrease the size you can do that okay so for example i would like to decrease the size of this particular cylinder you can select this object and press here scale option and use these three directional marks red green and blue in that particular direction we can decrease the size okay we can decrease the size like this fine and we can rotate the planes and we, we can rotate the plane and we can pan this one fine if you don't require these objectives select that objective and use the delete command from your keyboard you can select this one and delete it select this one delete it okay so these are the different option so it will be used for undo okay and if you check the models in gpo we can have the same spherical coordinates physics and models we have right so some if you talking about the total board 3 so it is having some um, integral parts right it has base so base if you select it will highlight it if you press on this one left link will be highlighted here link is nothing but wheel okay so this is a right link will be highlighted so your joints will be highlighted okay so this is about your board when coming to the insert when coming to the insert so here we can we can check multiple options are there okay multiple options are there we can insert apartment okay this is very big i think so let me escape from this and i'll go to the iso position and by we can insert apartments and uh, cave table right we can build any home like that your robot should move in that particular plane or else we can uh, insert plaza so this one if you press here your plaza will come um, at the end of this session we are trying to operate your robot freely it can able to move in this particular plaza okay so we will develop one python file so based on that python file your robot is moving without hitting the wall okay so i just developed a basic file and i am just leaving to you we have to extend that particular file right so that uh, sometimes it, it may struck at this particular location fine so at the end of the session we have to we have to run this robot without hitting the walls and if this table not required select and use the delete delete option and plaza i am just deleting here right so similarly we can insert square so different options are there and at the same time we can also get the models from online okay so this ambulance is there apartment is there so multiple multiple files are there here coke etc so we can we can call this one at any time and we can insert into the world gazebo world okay and that brings us to the end thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for future updates this is srinivas signing off